Hi gorgeous people, it's Claire Storm with your week ahead psychic guidance. Today is Sunday the 26th of June and today I'm reading with Rider Waite Smith and Goddess Guidance. So I'm going to do a collective reading which is one for everyone and then I'm going to do one cheeky card for each of the star signs. So if you are just watching this on Instagram right now, you can only watch what you can see in the um, story and then you're going to have to head to YouTube. The link is here because of all the scammers. There's too many scammers now and um, they're driving me nuts. So if you can report any accounts, please do so. But I can't post in the grid until they're gone. Right. OK, angels, what do we need to know about the week ahead? Oh, yes. Fabulous start to the week, the Empress. The Empress is bringing in mother energy and the energy of abundance. So this card is signifying that you should be reaping some rewards this start of the week and all of the things that you've been nurturing and tending to are now bearing fruit. Love is blossoming around you. Your relationship should be feeling good. Um, this is just all the good feels with this card. So it's all about reaping rewards. There's Venus, the planet of love. And we've got the 12 stars of Mary on her crown as well. So this is the mother energy. And I think that most of us could do with some of this right now. Some of that lovely, nurturing, caring energy. Remember to look after yourself because we have a tendency to keep give, give, give to other people around us. But this is a fab start of the week. Okay. Midweek. What do we need to know? Midweek, we have got the Knight of Wands. And this is often a masculine archetype. However, um, any of the cards can represent any gender. Um, but being a knight, this is all about something exciting, something that has fired you up and you are very passionate about something. Your guidance is to go, 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 take action, go for it, take calculated risks. Um, if there's something that you are passionate about, then go ahead, go and have this sense of adventure and it makes me laugh this card because it's fire and I've actually burnt the corner of this card. This looks like it's going to be a really nice week. So we've got our gorgeous Empress energy where, where our cup is full and overflowing and we have got the energy to sustain our vision. End of the week. End of the week, we have got the Page of Cups and this is a sweet card. I always see this card as an invitation or an offer. Uh, I don't often see it representing a person. However, it can, in a full reading, show up representing people's children who can be intuitive and creative uh, and emotional and sensitive. I'm feeling that all of our good efforts that we've invested in this week and we've had the courage and the motivation to get stuff done is landing you with this lovely offer at the end of the week and it could be a little offer that surprises you see the little fish there I wasn't expecting that um, and an offer can be many forms it can be a date an invitation to somewhere um, it could be um, an offer of work or a contract it can literally be any offering but news is coming information is coming to you and it's always good with this card it's something that warms your heart so that is a good week i'm going to go ahead and do the goddess guidance card to go with this reading before i move on to the star signs let's see who we have got oh yes get in ostara now, this card says fertility, and we've got the Empress, which is the fertility card. Underneath her gowns, even though you can't see it, uh, the Empress is pregnant. Um, and here we have Ostara. And Ostara is a, um, a German goddess, and this is where the name Easter comes from, from her name. And you can see the, the bunny rabbit and the, the basket of eggs. So again, look what it says. 
it is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas and give birth to new conditions. Because of course, giving birth doesn't just talk about giving birth to babies, it's giving birth to your dreams. So the energies are really um, primed for manifestation this week. It's going to be a fantastic week. And I feel the last few days have been really good as well. I think we are finally, you know, shifting from the solstice. And now I feel like loads of good stuff is coming through. So make sure you are casting your energetic seeds out into the universe. You need to know what you want and then you can receive it. So lots of abundance, fertile energy in the earth. So cast your seeds and grab opportunities with both hands. So that is a really great week. Let's pop them down. And I'm going to start off with Taurus. So Taurus, what do you need to know this week? Oh, check this out. Queen of Pentacles. And we've got another bunny rabbit there. All we need is my bunny hopping behind us. Um, so we have got a fantastic card for Taurus. This, again, it's all about manifestation. It's about where you are. She's focusing on that coin and her wealth is growing. Now, coins, pentacles, they do speak about the physical body. So it can be your health and it is your wealth, your abundance, your home where you live. The Queen of Pentacles, she very often indicates a working mum. It's someone who's very pragmatic, someone who can do many things, a multitasker, but everything gets done and everything gets nurtured. Are you being asked to step into that Queen's energy this week? To be gentle, but to keep proceeding forward, to keep getting stuff done, to keep your energy consolidated so that you can spend it on the things that you want to see growing. You might well be receiving some abundance as well this week because that card can often represent if you are going to be in receipt of abundance or you have the capability to do so. Next up, we've got Aquarius. Aquarius, what do you need to know? Aquarius, we have got the Six of Pentacles. Now, this is about giving and receiving. And as you can see in the card, there is an imbalance one of the beggars is receiving and poor old guy in blue isn't getting anything at all. Um, so you are being asked to take a step back and observe where you are spending your time. What are you giving your thoughts to? Your Who are you paying attention to? Are you helping someone and you're not getting much back in return? You know, are you the one in a relationship that's give, give, give? Um, or the shoe could be on the other foot. It, it could be you that is actually needing to give a little bit more so that those scales come into balance. This is asking you to have a look at all of those relationships and where your energy is coming in and going out. The traditional meaning of this card is receiving a bonus. Um, personally, that, it, that never has that meaning for me. So take that as you will but make sure you are assessing where you are investing. Is it worth investing? And if you're not getting those returns, then what can you do about it? Because you deserve to be in receipt of abundance. Next up, we've got Capricorn. Capricorn, what do you need to know? Capricorn, we've got a fab card, Ace of Swords. So for you this week, it's as if there has been some kind of um, cloud over your vision or an inability to make a decision and suddenly you have this epiphany, you have a breakthrough, you suddenly realise something, you some information that has been missing that is going to help you to move forward the next step, it comes through. This is a really good card. It's about having a new state of awareness, a new state of thinking. You can see the crowd on the crown on the sword. Sword rep represents intellect, wisdom, intelligence, information, communication. And we've got the leaves of the, the Palm Sunday, which is the resurrection. Which is, so it's a resurrection of your state of mind. You're seeing something in this brilliant way. And all this like wind energy, air energy, 
is just coming through you and like you're, you're channeling all this wisdom from your higher self. New beginnings, but kind of like mainly on a mental state, which is really, really good. So this is going to be an interesting week for Capricorn. Next up, we've got Cancer. Cancer, what do you need to know this week? Cancer, we have got the Hierophant. And so this card is saying to you, are you the student or are you the teacher? Because this card is about learning. It's about coming together and not having to do everything by yourself. There is someone who could be um, a have a spiritual influence or it could be a, a, like a literal teacher or a lawyer or a consultant but it's as if someone official has some information that would really benefit you so you're being asked to be open to receiving what wisdom other people have be the students and this is just going to unlock something within you things will start making sense you will have a deeper understanding but you'll also have like a feeling a sense of belonging and community it's like tradition is important at this time it's not a time of solitary and you know even if you are the student in this card the one who is learning like you are going to share these lessons and benefit other people with with what you have mastered and, and learned as well so the hierophant very spiritual card um seek out knowledge from the experts that can help you libra next libra what do you need to know oh yes ten of pentacles and this card came out yesterday in the uh, mini video as well this card is all about wealth luxury abundance enjoying the finer things it's about thinking where you can invest again investing in a financial sense so you might be thinking of getting a new home or doing this or that uh, starting a new business and this card is saying your idea what you have it will definitely work it will reap rewards because this is the last card in the deck and it represents um inheritance it's the inheritance card and if you are not the person who is in receipt of incoming inheritance, then it, it means more often than not that you are going to generate so much wealth that you can help those around you. People will be inheriting wealth from you. And that's why it's such a good omen to receive this card if you are thinking of doing something new. This card also... Um, has a meaning that your spirit guide your guardian angel i kind of see this guy as uh, nobody is noticing him really in the card apart from the dogs i always see him in my personal opinion as a spirit guide someone in spirit like um, a masculine fi figure so your dad or your granddad someone watching out for you and this card the the child in the card can be seen as the fool and you can see the old guy, he strokes the head of the dog and the little boy is stroking the tail. So it's that sense of um, cycles, um, family patterns, um, nothing truly ever ends. So this is a really good card for you. Enjoy. You are being showered with abundance and opportunities that are going to help you to feel at one. Because of course, as well, we've got the pentacles laid out in the tree of life so next up we have got leo <coughs> excuse me <laughs> leo oh yes i tell you what some good cards the wheel of fortune the winds of change are in the air and it now is your time your lucky stars are aligning you are on the right path. Even if you don't feel like you are, things are going to start falling into place. Get looking out for synchronicities and signs. They will guide you. Um, good karma is on its way. Something really wonderful is going to occur for you. This change when you've been feeling stuck 
all of the answers are going to come, all the doors are going to open, but now is your chance. Something's going to come through so that you can experience the change that you have been waiting for. Your spirit guides have got everything covered, they're orchestrating behind the scenes, and you've got everything that you've got what it takes to manifest exactly what you need. Because again, you can see in this card, we have got the uh, elements, the fixed signs of the zodiac, earth, earth, air and water. Um, so the snake is vibration. So vibration is the law of attraction. Where's your vibration at? Um, read Kyle Gray's new version of raise your vibration. That just popped into my head because I'm reading it. Um, where your attention is at, that's your vibration and that's what you're going to attract. So just stay in alignment with the, the goals that you want to see. But fabulous week for you. Let me know what you are manifesting this week. Next up, we have got Pisces. Pisces, we've got a good card for you. We've got the Eight of Wands. You might have a sense that things are all up in the air. You might not know where you stand in a certain situation, but this is the card of action. And if there is something you want to do, then this card is saying, go, go, go. What are you waiting for? This is going to be a really busy week for you, but busy in a good sense. It's like I'm seeing the um, Diana, the goddess, with her bow and arrow. And, it, you know, get your bow and arrow, point it at your target and let it go. Let the universe meet you halfway and send your magnetic energy out into the universe and start opening those doors of opportunity. This is a fabulous card. You're going to be feeling really upbeat and energized. You might even feel like doing something new, um, something energetic, because it's such a powerful, fiery card. But it's going to be a really, really good week. So use that energy. Next up, we've got Saggy, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, we have got the Strength card. Now, this card is saying that you are stronger than you think. And it's about your patience being tested. And I tell you what, I'm Sagittarius, you probably know. And my patience is being tested with all these fake clone profiles on Instagram. Um, so the Strength card is saying don't allow any external influences to disturb your peace be gentle see how she tames the beast that is her ego and she tames the beast with her gentleness and her kindness so speak kind words to yourself if you're trying to get through to somebody else again think about your communication how you might come across because with this card is a, a saying, use honey rather than vinegar. And, you know, people are more receptive to what we have to say, more receptive to criticism if we deliver it in a positive fashion. So use your strength to stay cool, calm and collected and you will get exactly what you need or exactly what you want. Don't allow the ego to um, take charge because that will just... Leave you feeling stressed out. And we also have Archangel Ariel with that card as well. So um, call in Ariel, ask for strength and guidance. Wear red gemstones. Next up, we've got Scorpio. Scorpio, we have got the Four of Cups. Are you feeling like something is missing in your life? You're feeling a bit bored, a bit discontent what is being offered to you, it's lost its sparkle. Now, with this card, it can be tempting to run off and uh, try new things or do something a different way. Um, however, in some decks, he's literally just meditating and relaxing and taking a bit of a break. So that is my advice for you. If you are feeling like that, don't rush into making major decisions because you could later have a change of heart. Just take some time out, gather your thoughts, and because more often than not, what we feel like is missing is actually something within ourselves. And it's that connection to our higher self that helps us feel like we're on the right path. Um, 
So don't rush into anything. Do explore where you're feeling unfulfilled and then start making a plan. How can you make this better? So that was for Scorpio. Next up, we've got Aries. Aries, we have got the King of Swords. The King of Swords usually manifests as um, either a person around you who is a pain in the ass, a masculine person who always thinks they're right, they can be quite cruel and stealer, um, or it could be someone professional, like a surgeon or a solicitor, someone who has a sense of authority. If you are being asked to become the King of Swords, you are being urged to set up some boundaries. Allow yourself to say no, um, because this person says it as it is. They don't um, fluff the words. And, you know, especially women, we can find it difficult, challenging um, to say no to certain demands. But the King of Swords is like, come on, step into your power, own it. You've got a message to deliver. And it, now is your time to do it. Again, you can call in Archangel Michael if you struggle with the throat chakra and voicing your words. So there you've got your King of Swords. Next up, we've got Gemini. Wish card. Make a wish, Gemini. Your wish will come true. Look, he's got, he's like the cat who's got the cream. Um, and what I've just noticed about him is how he's folding his arms. And that's like a classic pose when we are feeling like we need to protect ourselves. I'm feeling like the message today with this card is protect your idea and protect your wish. Sometimes if we share our wishes and our intentions with people before we've actually um, set about manifesting people can talk us out of it and um knock our confidence a little bit this card is definitely saying your wish will come true it's a very very positive card you're going to be feeling emotionally fulfilled those cups are going to be filled with joy um, but i just did get that sense of feeling of keep your cards close to your chest just a little bit until you um until it's definite, until it's final and official. But it's going to be a lovely week for you. And last but not least, we have got Virgo. Virgo, what do you need to know this week? Same card has come out for Virgo, the six of pentacles, giving and receiving, all things in balance, good karma on its way to you. Are you open to receiving? Karmic cycles, cycles within families, uh, things are coming up, opportunities to restore balance in your life. So get looking at it. Don't see things not turning out as a punishment. See them as a lesson. See them as you are being protected um, be because something better is around the corner. I'm feeling total different meaning for you um, with this card, but it's going to be a fantastic week. So open your arms to receiving. Look within. Where are your blocks? How are you preventing yourself from manifesting? Have you got some subconscious beliefs that money is the root of all evil, um, waste not, want not, all of those um, beliefs that we inherit that are programmed upon us, they limit um, our abundance and our manifesting opportunities. So look at what is not working in your life and take ownership. Ask yourself, how have I contributed to this? And that's where you're going to have those breakthrough breakthroughs. And then it's as if the tap will be switched on and the flow will be coming back into your life. So there you go, gorgeous people. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, share with your friends. That will be awesome. And take her on Instagram, as I keep trying to tell everyone. Have a beautiful, blessed, happy, healthy week. Lots of love.